welcome back to my channel uh this is ray bands and i am in my bag um i'm excited the journey has been started took me a little longer to get started had some things to take care of but we are actually on day two of our trading journey to go from 300 dollars to 50k which is not easy you know if you're looking at this video because you want to be a trader or you want to make quick money if you want to prove if trading is real i don't know why you're watching the video but i'm just going to give you some transparency trading is not easy but it is simple and the reason why it's not easy is because of two things you can't always predict the market and it takes discipline so if you're somebody who maybe plays some sports and it took discipline to play or certain things you did in your life that you know helped you develop discipline whatever if you have discipline you're 50 percent of the way there okay and then understanding the skill i would say is the other 50 percent to keep it simple but um trading i think everybody should do and that's why i'm making this video i'm making this video because I've had a great experience with trading so far. I think that everybody should do it. I think that if you are able to make money physically with your hands, no matter how much time you have, you can find 30 minutes to an hour to, of day to pretty much hop on and learn how to build the skill of trading. Um, and that's just not with high frequency. That's just the route that I'm taking. But you might want to do regular forex trading. You might want to do day trading with stocks, which I'm not really into that. But some type of trading to take your money and help that money make money. So you can get that money big enough to go do the big things with, which is maybe buying some land or maybe buying enough dividend stock so you can produce a, you know, a big enough monthly income or a big enough yearly income to where even if you didn't move, you can make 100K, which it is people who have that. So if you want that type of money, or if you want the type of results and you have jobs that are only paying you seven bucks, eight bucks, nine bucks, 20 bucks, 50 bucks, you know, you're not really making a lot of you're not making enough money to be able to move. In, in that type of, you know, investment field. So you have to find something where you can accelerate that success. And that's what trading is for. So um, here on my channel, I'm not an expert. I'm still learning. I do have an organization where we trade. I do have education material that I tune into. I do have scanners that I'll be looking at that you won't be able to see. And I will be using TradingView, which is a free site that you can use to be able to set up your trading charts and strategies that you want to use that I might show from time to time. But I'm just documenting my journey on how I'm going to go from three hundred dollars to 50k so if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comment section uh, if you want to keep up with my journey or keep up with me on instagram feel free to go to my instagram account it is at ray.bands that's with uh two n's and two z's and two y's on the end of ray um and you can follow me and we can pretty much just stay in contact you can kind of see the journey but th this is what it is and i actually have something that i want to that i want to show you guys really quick before i end the video uh, let me pull this up right here okay this is a compound chart i just want to show y'all what the journey is going to look like okay you can find this at compounddaily.org it's a calculator it just helps you um do the compounding of your account so we're starting with 300 and we're going to grow eight percent every day and uh, our length in term is 30 days now i do two sessions a day that means in 15 days i should be done with this trading plan right here now if i have some up and down days it might take me a little longer but i do two trading sessions a day so in theory i should be done with this in 15 days but if you're doing one trading session a day it will take 30 days and my reinvestment rate is 80 percent the reason why I'm doing 80% is because I like to make withdrawals every week. Every 10 sessions, I'm going to withdraw that amount, okay? And you're going to see how I have it set up on this uh, Excel sheet in just a section, uh, just a second. Right here, look at this, 20, boom. Look at this. Okay, we're on day two, started at 300. We made 60 bucks our first session. Uh, that, was a, that was a great session. I had fun doing that. Um, look at this right here, 60 we made 38 that session. So right here, if you look at this, I actually had this number in already. Look, 398. I had it typed in right here, 398. That's why I was showing a negative, but it automatically shows me what I need to hit for that session, how much I should be risking, which I'll probably just round that up to 12. And then boom, after I put my profits, let's say if I got to $450 this session, then it would show me my profits. Just something I kind of built out for myself to keep up. Cause as you can see, we're only on the second day and i'm already ahead of the trading plan so look 398 if i go back to the trading plan i should i'll be somewhere down here see i'll be close to day four so we're still going to run with 30 days right here which will be down here at 41 that's 30 days because i do two sessions a day um and we're going to see like 
like what's up like where we'll be at so i just wanted to give you guys uh that insight to that also um i'll let you see this is something that i look at right here give you some free sauce this is called the alligator strategy there's plenty of videos that explains the alligator strategy but everybody tries to put their own little theories with it so i'm gonna just tell you what i use the strategy for i use this strategy with the parabolic stars which is the little purple lines right here the little stars i use this strategy to identify trends okay when trading especially high frequency trading when you're a high frequency trader you know you want to um i messed it up you want to make sure that you can understand what price is going to do so we need to be able to look left see look left to see what's going to happen right now you might be thinking well over here is coming down and over here is going up so how can i know these little pink lines that i've drawn uh drawn on this graph right here you know it shows me support and resistance so at that particular time when i was trading i noticed that in this area it kind of bounced around a lot you see that i can actually right here i can add another one so i'm gonna go up here and boom i know that once it gets in this area it likes to kind of snap back and it just kind of plays you can also call these points pivots okay now if you look at these volume bars it's going to tell me this particular candle was stronger in the momentum of being bullish and this particular candle right here was stronger in the momentum of being bearish which means bull means up bear means down okay that's why it's green and red and as you can see as i notice the pivots you see what i'm saying look if you want to learn how to read the alligator it's really easy this green line is going to be considered the lips i believe the the red line is the jaw uh and then no i'm sorry the pink line is the teeth and then the blue line is the jaw i think i have that right let me check that i don't want to tell you all the wrong information lips teeth is the pink line and then the jaw yeah it just makes sense it's like a real alligator and then whatever this does so if you see that the pink and the blue line are below the green line and it's you see that that means that it's an uptrend and the stronger the trend the further apart the lines will be so you notice look at this boom that trend is still going up now as it starts to fizzle out and starts to change direction look what the green line does see how it starts to go back into the pink line it bounces off boom it comes up then it finally drops through right here right so you notice it's a, a short downtrend come down here and you'll notice that even though it was a downtrend, it was still some fighting. If you see a very strong uptrend, you'll see more green volume bars than red. So this is beautiful. So that means this, if I would have seen this red bar on this uptrend right here, and you would have took this for one minute, you would have won it. If you would have took this for one minute, you would have won it. Let me see. So we can keep going. So right here, when it's kind of fizzling out a little bit, you notice it's just kind of jumbled in. So you want to take this with like your discretion. You can find trades in here if you want. If you notice on your broker, it's moving a certain way. You can take a trade and possibly win. But that's a little bit more advanced. That's up to you. OK, and then boom, it comes right here, starts to get stronger, starts to come back up. Now, this right here, you notice I have you see this this um this green, yellow and red. If I zoom out. OK, this these are liquidity zones. OK, this right here is like like usually it's kind of like doing like market structure trading. I know I measured the movement from this top position all the way to a bottom position over here in this direction. And the reason why it's like that on this screen is because if I double up my screen. OK, and on this screen right here, you're going to see the one minute and on this screen, you're going to see the five minute. So on the five minute, that's what I marked. I marked this movement. You can see the black line. I took it from that top point and I went all the way to the, at the time, the lowest point, which, OK, I guess was right here. So we're a little bit below. So boom. Now that's going to give me the, 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 the market like averages It's going to show me as far as like bank levels, what I should be expecting. So I know that it made this movement. Right. So I'm expecting a pullback, which the pullback came. Once it goes back into this pullback level, it can kind of tell me if the trend is going to continue or not. So if it hits in this green level and it starts to go back down, it's still in a downtrend. OK, yes, on the alligator, it went up, but I don't want to be fooled thinking, OK, it's an uptrend. It's, con it's going to continue to uptrend, which I can catch some call trades. But, you know, it's possibility it can bounce. So I just wait. I don't rush. I don't rush and I wait. Once I start to see these parabolic stars, which also identify trend, I just wait. I wait. I wait. And you'll also know that on my one minute, 
Let me go back over here on my one minute. I have regular candles and on my five minute, I have Hakanashi, Hakaashi candles. However you say that, it's really right here. Hakanashi right here. Those candles. I have those. They paint momentum. So when it comes up right here, you see what I'm saying? I noticed that, OK, it, you know, it, it's kind of wicking a little bit. And then the next one, it was a red hmm, patience. That's a that's a flat top patience. Once I would have got this second flat top right here on my five minute chart. OK, if you look at the one minute chart, look at what it's doing. It's right here. OK, right here. I'm looking for entries for a put. I would have just watched the way the market was moving. So that mean by this candle right here, I probably would have been in a trade. And if we go over to the one minute, look at this. I would have got in a trade about right here. A one minute trade. Boom, boom. I don't like to roll over. So I like good entries. Boom. One that trade one minute. It probably would have came back up again. I would have took that again. Boom. Now, sometimes you can't get spiked. I probably would have caught a trade right here to win up. Maybe I would have got lucky, you know, and it would have dropped down just enough time. Or maybe it would have been just, uh, you know, a little bit too much and I would have lost. And then it would have dropped. Sometimes that can happen. So you have to be patient. And if you're watching the broker, which let me show you what the broker looks like really quick. Okay. If you're watching this broker right here, we go to trading. OK, if you're looking at this and it's moving in a particular direction, come on, come up, come up. See, if it's moving in a particular direction, you can kind of tell like what you want to do. Like I don't try to mark like, OK, when it gets to six, nine, eight, I'm going to take a call or a put or whatever. I like to see the movement. So it's going and it might shoot up right here. And I know that I'm looking for a put in one minute. I'm going to go ahead and take that because the probability of it continuing to drop is high, depending on how I'm looking at my actual charts. See what I'm saying? So that's why I mark this right here, because if it gets into this red zone, I know, OK, it's a possibility that if it breaks this zone, that it can continue to go up. And what will happen is, is it'll break the zone. It might come back and retest. So it'll break right here to come back and retest and then it might continue to go up. But you see, it didn't do that. It came up in here. It hit that yellow level and then it just continued to fall. Boom, 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 boom. See, and then continue to fall. So if you would have been looking for puts, the probability of you being good in your trade, very, very high. We want to trade with the trend. Matter of fact, let me put my face back on the camera. Trade with the trend. That's why I have the alligator strategy on the screen. OK, this strategy right here. Let me take this down. This strategy right here is going to is really good at identifying trends. So if you go look up videos on how to set it up, um, if you go look up you know what it's used for this is very good i'm telling you the number one thing you'll hear it's good at identifying trend entry points maybe not but that's why you have you have your own devices to find entries and your own feelings and in and, 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 uh common sense when you're when you're entering your trade because you can watch and see you see what i'm saying i know okay look at this if i got in this trade right here and i got three sale bars it's going to be lower it's not going to be up here it's going to be lower somewhere i'm in, in profit for that trade so i go back in the past and i just like to look what happens when it looks certain ways you know, when it's super close together, when that when the look at this. Look at this right here, when it's super close together, look look at that. That's nasty. You don't want to be in that. You know how stressful that is to enter a trade and it's just going up and down between your entry point. You, <laughs> you'll catch like a brain aneurysm or something. It's not worth it. So I just look for good entry points. So that's just some free sauce down here. If you look at this, this right here is called the DMI. This is the, the directional movement index. OK, what it's showing me is I'm going to show you how to read it. OK, when this this right here means the strength of the current trend. And then if the red line is above, that means that currently that is trending in a in a um, in a short market. Short means that it's going to go bearish, which means down. Now, when you see this line drop like this, but go look in the past when it drops all the way down. What happens? That blue starts to come back. And then as it rises again, the blue will follow. You see. So when you see it looking like this consolidation. It's good to identify. Mm, don't want to be in the market right now. Now, as you see it right here, it start to trend. It start to trend. Look, this is still kind of down here, but the red is above. It's sitting at about 37 percent and then it gets a little bit lower. Now, look at look, this black line gets up to about 70 percent. I like it to be over 50 before I take trades. Sometime I'll hop in trades prematurely if I see the market moving a certain way on the broker. Um, but look, boom, it gets up there. 
and you got a heavy downtrend for a good little minute. So you're just looking for entries. And I like to do one minute, two minute trades. Mostly I do one minute trades. If I have to roll and I really, really, really believe in the trade, I will roll the trade. But most of the time, if it's a bad trade, it's just a bad trade. And I look for another setup. So this is, that's how I read it. That's how I go about doing it. I find the trend. I identify if I want to do call or puts. And then I search for my entry and I take my trades that way. Um, and after good movements, I draw out my Fibonacci. That's what this called. This red, yellow, and green. It's just Fibonacci levels. Uh, and of course, this right here, I like to call it rainbows, but my friends don't like it too much. <laughs> but you know, this right here, uh, as far as like the rainbow, uh, if you draw it for a downtrend, so let me draw for a downtrend, I'll show you. It'll actually, I'm sorry, for an uptrend, it'll switch. So that's a downtrend. So if I go out and draw it for an uptrend, Notice that the colors switch because now we're looking at bouncing zone. So it makes that move. And then we're going to see. Notice how it comes down to the green, bounces off. Come down to the green, bounces off. Test. That's pretty strong. Once it does that like that a few times, it's really good to say, hey, that that's a resistance zone right there. Boom, 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 boom. Look, look how many times it tested before it actually broke. So when it breaks, I would have knew right here that this is a bearish market. I'm looking for puts. And then if we go down and check all our indicators, look, it breaks that right there. It breaks the um, resistance or the support. And then we got the red. And then we look at this. Wow, 87%. And the red is way further from the blue. And then you can look at the alligator. It's below. They're pretty far apart. It just looks like they're not because I'm zoomed in. Yeah, this would have been a perfect area to be calling puts. And then you'll kind of have this on your other screen and you'll be calling your trades. So that's that's what I'm doing, you know, and we're just going to mark the journey. I just literally gave you some free sauce for free. So if you watch through this video and you set this up, you might be thinking, oh, how do I set up this strategy? Look at this. I have it up here in the right hand corner. OK, you have the parabolic SARS. Look in the right hand corner right here. I'm going to give you time to find my mouse. Parabolic SARS right here. You have the alligator strategy. You have the volume bars. And I actually have a stochastic that's um, hidden. Uh, it just helps me identify trends as well, but I don't want to confuse you. So usually I can I can do it just like this. And if you pay for the premium version, I pay like 100 bucks for the whole year or 129 bucks for the whole year. You'll be able to do this right here where you can have the split screen. So when I'm really into it and I'm in the zone, I have one screen that's showing my Hakanashi candles. Boom. Showing painting momentum for me. I'm, I'm confirming with the downtrend and I'm using all my indicators to get into the best trades that I see fit. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you know, as my account gets bigger, um, I might even do like some live trade sessions on YouTube. Who knows? I don't even know if people will come across this video. I just know that I'm making it because I want more people to see that trading is really fun. Once you start to understand this, it's like you versus the market if you're like a beginner. But as you get more advanced, you realize it's you with the market. That's some free sauce, free gin for you. So thank you for tuning in to my video. We'll see how the rest of my journey goes. Hopefully I don't blow this account um, and we get it to 50K so we can start to get that real compounding effect and get to that first M, that first milli. So thank you so much. Go get in your bag and um, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. Like show your boys some love and we're we going to hit this account and be trading together. So I see y'all on the next video.